you want to put the cursor if you notice the cursors over here the best thing to do is right put your cursor here and then hit enter all right take you to the next line because if you're off just a little bit this thing you're going to get an error right and another thing I guess I should mention to know exactly the column that you're in right here what you'll want to do is come down here and as you can see down here at the very bottom this tells you where the column is where your cursor is and that could really help you out a lot all right so let's get back up here so this is our range right here this was the function that we defined earlier and we're plugging D in. In other words, C right here is this thing increments, is this thing loops around. So C starts out at zero, but really it's we're not in our in our uh, domain we're not starting out at zero because when you plug zero in for C right here, right, one is going to get assigned to C and then of course C down here, one goes to D so now D is 1 and then we're plugging 1 into our function F of 1 and then R gets assigned whatever that uh, particular value is now what we're going to want to do now is, is <clears throat> for each one of these we'll want to print off so we're going to print and make sure you start a parentheses I think in uh, section in uh, I think uh, like three point everything earlier than 3.0 on Python you did put a parentheses here but anyway you have to put a parentheses now okay we're going to put D for the domain separated by by a comma and then let's do a tab and just to kind of show you here we can just use single quotes here tab which I guess is a whole lot easier because then you don't have to press the shift key comma and then R for the range All right. All right. well I'm pretty anxious let's uh, run this program I think we're done now we've defined our function and we wrote our loop here this is going to loop through the domain and of course K right here I don't know if I mentioned that or not what this is going to do is it's going to go to however far out we want to go out on our uh, in our domain um, we're going to first go to 5, 1 to 5, and then we'll go to 1 to 10, and whatever. All right, But we can elaborate on this whole thing. See, we're starting at 1, but we can actually go up here and define this between our, our domain to be between 5 and 100, negative 10 and 30. But remember now, we're just using the uh, integers. But we're going to elaborate more on that later on. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>